From inside Midland High School's gymnasium, the Dow Midland Rivalry Week continues. They were on the gridiron last Friday for football. Midland took care of Dow 49 to 21. Now they shift inside to the hardwood for girls volleyball in a packed gymnasium tonight to see Dow and Midland. We've got it for you on MCTV. Alongside Dave Marsh, my name is Chris Fosters, and just a really fun week to be a part of athletically, Dave. Whether you're affiliated directly with Midland or Dow or just a fan of sports in the Midland community, a fun matchup. There's, of course, a lot of history between these two teams and a great atmosphere on hand. Hopefully a fun one to enjoy. Yeah, mi nothing quite like Midland versus Dow week. Um, yeah, I'm a longtime Midlander, so grew up with it, and uh, there's just a little added excitement in town throughout, and I love the volleyball match it's uh you can see both student sections are here in force and they're going to be rocking this place and uh it's just just gonna be a lot of fun here at midland gym there's a lot of college talent on the floor tonight as well both midland and dow have some athletes that figure to take their game to the next level a lot of seniors on the floor tonight as well especially for this midland high side who celebrated senior night just a few moments ago so now with starting lineups and the national anthem just around the corner we'll send it down courtside to the public address announcer eric albright get set for starting lineups and take a look at the records for both of these teams. Midland is 39-9 and nine and they are one win shy of 40 on the season. Dow checks in at 22-11-4 and, and once again here are those starting lineups.
It's too bad they didn't throw any of that candy up our way, Dave. I'm a little disappointed, actually. <laughs> well, he threw it in one direction. <laughs> Understandably, to the Midland student section, of course. You're watching this Midland High versus HH Dow High volleyball match on the MCTV network. Charter Cable 190 in Midland or Channel 99 on AT&T's U-verse. This game will be cable cast on the following dates and times. Thursday at 5.30, Friday at 5.30, Saturday at 10 a.m. and 11.30 p.m., and Sunday at 10 a.m. and 8.30 p.m. Midland is in the blue, Dow is in the yellow, and Dave, I think if you have to be frank about this matchup, Midland would be the favorite on paper, but it's senior night. Dow comes in with nothing to lose in the final regular season game of the season. Maybe they can take advantage of Midland's emotions in this one. Uh, that's a great point, Chris. Uh, a lot of times uh, on senior night, there is a little added emotion. Might be a plus for Midland that is against Dow, however, that it's just... You can kind of quickly put that aside and uh, you're facing your arch rival. Uh, but it is Midland Dow. We know anything can happen. Jenna Summers gets it started for Dow with the serve. At an early point and a kill for Grace Reckaway. We expect to see a lot of her tonight. Yeah, I think we're going to, you're going to be, uh, good thing you can pronounce her name well. You're going to be saying that a lot, I believe. That's her 1,000th attack uh, on the season. And... Her next kill will be number 500 for the season, too. Very impressive. She's off to a fast start tonight. Midland wins the serve right back in the opening set. Midland 39 wins on the season under 15th year head coach Tim Zerrell. Breckaway has to get it over that time. Back to Breckaway. Wilson in the middle cleans it up, but an early 2-0 lead for Midland in the first set. You don't have an excuse not to pronounce Grace Reckaway's last name correct. I don't. Uh, I don't at all. Her, her dad, Jeff, uh, Northwoods basketball coach. Grace has the height, but I guess her tendency went to the volleyball court instead of the basketball court. Right through Midland center, Alex McMath, and now Dow is on the board. And even though this is a Midland home game, Dave, we're expecting to hear equal levels of cheering from both sides. The Dow student section is packed. Well, you find that at these, I mean, just right across town, no matter where it is. So it's going to be raucous on both ends. Reckaway in the middle that time. And an illegal touch. So that's already three for three in the kill department for Grace Reckaway. And you talk to head coach Tim Zerrell about her. She's effective hitting from just about anywhere on the floor. Outside, middle, back row, you name it. Yeah, they've already demonstrated that here tonight in the early going. On the slide, Quinn McCaffrey denied by Midland. Gerstacker gets it over. Tannis shoots it long. That was a great dig by Perry. Number six for Midland uh, to keep that ball alive, leading to the Kemick point. So as expected, a fast start for Midland. The Saginaw Valley League Championship Tournament starts on Saturday. Both teams looking for one final tune-up before the playoffs begin. Push to the back row, out of play. No touch from McMath that time, and a great job by Dow to keep it alive. Yeah, Coach Zero thought the uh, return by Dow was uh, over the antenna, which would technically make it out. Um, ref referee did not see it that way. Uh, point Chargers. Haley Worth on the floor for Midland as Catherine Perry takes a seat. And that's Karis Query who put the ball in play. Whoa. Nope. Wilson leaves no doubt on that one. Big 6-3. Uh, normally middle blocker, but uh, found the corner, point Chemex. And the front line for Midland, all college bound. Gerstacker to Saginaw Valley. Wilson, who just had that kill, to Lake State. And Grace Reckaway, of course, to Northwood. Reckaway actually playing in the back row right now. And Gerstacker hammers it home off the dig error by Dowell. Midland's uh, height and... Uh, Ability, they're uh, in control right now, but it is early going, just 6 2. One thing Midland does not want to do tonight is serve to the middle of Dow's defense to try and keep Dow out of system. Wilson is stuffed, Quinn McCaffrey, and a double block. Haley Tennis helped close the door. 
That was very nicely done by Tannis, just the sophomore. And uh, she is the block leader for the Chargers, 41 uh, on the season coming into the match. Still early in the first set, Dow the road team. Gerstacker too good. Nice elevation by Gerstacker, found the opening. She's got a 27 inch vertical. And interestingly enough, the player on Dow's roster with the highest vertical, Shanasa Okoro, is not on the floor right now. Emma Jamrog, the libero with the serve for Midland. Tannis down the line, but too wide. Isabel Velasquez, the junior, number five, uh, checks into the lineup for, the, uh, for Dow. It's been a tough uh, junior year for her injury-wise. You can say that about the entire Dow roster. They have been injury riddled since August camp. And Gerstacker picking spots at will right now. And this is what makes Midland dangerous. They have the ability to work to multiple outside hitters who are very effective at the net. Yeah, we've seen uh, three players just uh, really dominate at the net so far. Now Midland's serve game is getting mixed in as well. And the Jamrog with a filthy short serve forces second year head coach for Dow, Jeff Dietrich, to call a timeout. So Midland on a bit of a run right now. It was at 1.6 to three, now it's 10 to three. And these are the things that Dow is gonna have to try and avoid if they want any chance in this match, the Midland runs. Yeah, that's why you get the timeout here, 10-3. Seven points is a pretty big margin in a volleyball match, but uh, Coach Dietrich knows he has to try to stem the tide and uh, try to change things up here. Um, Chris, back talking to Velasquez, had a really, she was a varsity player as a freshman, really had high hopes for this year and had a severe ankle injury, broken ankle, early, very early in the season, kind of remarkable that she's even able to come back. She's really gutting it out. Agreed, the volleyball season just isn't that long. Hard to fathom, really, that she's back for the conclusion of her junior season. And Jeff Dietrich said that when he heard the news that she had been cleared by a doctor, he didn't believe it, had her <laughs> go through a second set of tests with Dow's athletic trainer, and she passed that as well. The kid's tough as nails. McCaffrey keeps it alive in the back row for Dow. There's Velasquez, soft touch. Too long for McCaffrey. McCaffrey tried uh, the kill from the back row just a little bit long. She found a good spot of opening there, but uh, sailed a couple feet uh, long. And more Emma Jamrog serving for Midland. A rare miss by Peyton Gerstacker that time. Gerstacker has a libero skill set, but she's playing outside for Midland. Yeah, I'm impressed with her so far. She seems to be very versatile on the court. If, uh, if she has a libero skill set, she's looking uh, very sharp up front as well. She's going to Saginaw Valley next year to play libero. And a miscommunication by Dow's defense. Midland continues to cruise. That was a heads up play by Grace Reckaway. Um, good court awareness. She just saw the opening there in the Dow defense and just uh, basically plopped it over the net. Here's the setter, Alex McMath. Her mom's the assistant coach. Out of play. It was Okoro, he mentioned, with the uh, serious hops at the front net, at the net, she just uh, sailed that one long as well. Well, it's interesting, Dave, you look at Dow's schedule, they haven't played in a week. They swept Arthur Hill one week ago on October 17th, but it's been a while since Dow has gotten any meaningful court time, especially in comparison to Midland. On Saturday, they were up at the North Branch tournament and got four matches in. Yeah, usually volleyball, you're, you're playing a lot once that season starts. And some impressive power in the middle that time by Maya Albright, a middle blocker who's almost lost in the shuffle of the star power that is Grace Reckaway, Peyton Gerstacker, and Beth Wilson, but she makes her presence felt. Albright, 173 kills coming in, however, hitting it over 30%. Gerstacker into the net, and finally a side out for Dow. 
Velasquez sits and Jenna Summers comes in. This is defense for offense or serving more specifically. Summers a 5-4 sophomore, one of three sophomores on the roster for Dow. That one skims off the tape. A nice changeup by Albright. Finds a soft spot in the zone. All Midland in the opening set. Yeah, you do like the awareness of the, the Kemmick players. Obviously a well-coached team and they just kind of find the spots to hit it and they're hitting them. And Tim Zerrell has been around the block. Over 600 career wins. Actually spent one season as an assistant coach for the University of Minnesota volleyball team. Vicious kill by Quinn McCaffrey, a two-sport athlete. Also plays for head coach Kyle Tyson on the basketball team. McCaffrey is our leading hitter on the year 242 coming in to tonight's match. She showed why right there. We spoke to Jeff Dietrich about this, and Dow is looking for individual landmarks, almost small victories within sets, checkpoints that they want to hit. And you'd have to think that just getting on a bit of a run Stringing some points together would be one of those landmarks that they want to hit, but they simply can't establish consistent serve and work against Midland's defense. Catherine Perry with the kill, and she'll go back to serve for the Kemics. Wreckaway, too strong. Yeah, they, they tried to, the, the blockers were kind of guessing she'd go down the line to force her to go across court, and uh, she blasted it into the uh, court for another kill for Reckaway. Well over 500 on the season now for Reckaway, right? Uh, yes, definitely. Came in with 498, well more than two kills in this first set alone. That time Reckaway catches the antenna. Yeah, Grace is really, uh, She's been a star on the team really since her sophomore year. Excellent athlete. Um, truly gets her athleticism from her mother. <laughs> I think there's what do you no mean? question about that. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, she's a very good student too. She gets her brains and her athleticism and her looks from her mother. Wow. Yeah, so. No, I'm not, I think I feel dad, bad for her uh, contributed dad. height. <laughs> Whoever her dad is, boy, I feel really <laughs> bad for him. Of course, Jeff Reckaway does a great job as the head basketball coach at Northwood University. My broadcast partner, Dave Marsh, the athletic director there. Basketball season starts up uh, I know. not long from now. Yeah, we're getting, getting excited. The setter, McMath, gets it over. That's pushed to the back row by Karis Query, Dow's setter. Great dig by Gerstacker. Up to Reckaway. Bad set into the net. That's one of those long rallies, the best rally of the night. And uh, that's the kind of thing that can really spark a team. You get that student section uh, over for the Chargers rocking after that one, see if they can capitalize. A seven point lead for Midland, but they have sometimes given up long runs to opposing teams this season. Not that time as Reckaway slams the door. That's one way to uh, halt a little run for uh, the Chargers is go to your iron and uh, let her blast away. And sort of a double whammy for Dow because Reckaway is also Midland's team leader in service aces with 70 this year. And already some confusion for Dow's defense. Can't even get it over. Yeah, Grace having a tremendous senior season. 70 aces, mentioned over 500 kills, and uh, just doing a phenomenal job, 242 digs. Five feet, 10 inches tall, and that serve is causing mayhem among the Dow defense right now. Yeah, she's uh, spotting it well, and she's got good pace on that serve. Fastball right <laughs> through Quinn McCaffrey's hands. <laughs> Jeff Dietrich needs to burn another timeout. Again, it was 17-10 at one point, Dave, in this first set. You got the sense maybe not Dow was 
fully, fully on the comeback trail, but they were starting to hang around, and then four quick points for Midland nips that in the bud. Well, as we mentioned, they, they won that long rally. The crowd started getting into it, and uh, a wreckaway kill, and then three service points, and uh, extends the lead to 11. That's sort of the veteran experience for Midland that Dow just does not have. You look at all the sophomores outnumbering the seniors on Jeff Dietrich's roster. Compare that with Tim Zerrell's squad at Midland, and there are a lot of seniors that have really bolstered Midland near the top of the Saginaw Valley League this year. Yeah, great point. Six seniors on the Chemex squad and uh, a big group that uh, led the Chemex to the state quarterfinals last year. So have already had the taste of success and have another great year. Dow, just two seniors on their roster. Midland lost three sets to one to Fenton in the state quarterfinals last year, their longest run ever under Tim Zerrell. Reckaway still serving. And Gerstacker still swinging. They're just really wearing out the Dow defense going cross court from the left side. Dow just hasn't adjusted yet. Not out of the realm of possibility that Reckaway could serve this set out. She is picking and choosing her spots right now, Peyton Gerstacker. Yeah, she's doing a great job up there. And uh, it starts kind of with Reckaway serve where it just gets Dow off balance. They're having trouble handling it. Ball get, gets over the net and then Gerstacker's just been controlling the front. Took something off the serve that time, did Reckaway. Double block, Dow scurrying. McCaffrey gets it over to stop the bleeding for Dow. Just inside the line. It's 23-11. And for those that might not be familiar, Dave, this is a lopsided first set, right, in yeah. terms of volleyball? Yes. And uh, with um, with rally scoring, which is where it's a point for uh, forever, you know how it used to be where it's side out. Um, when you get a big lead, it's really hard to come back because it means you just have to play total error free. Um, so it'd be a monumental comeback at this point in game one. Well, service ace for Quinn McCaffrey as Dow is trying to find some pieces to string together into the second set, still down 10 in the first. Exactly, even if they don't end up winning the first, if they can uh, get a little momentum here, they'll feel pretty good going into set number two. Peyton Gerstacker has almost gone tit for tat with Grace Reckaway in the kill department for Midland's offense. Tim Zerrell goes to his bench on set point, and in comes Maddie Sherman, 5'6 junior, to try and close out the first set from beyond the service line. Right down the line. Back to Velasquez. Gerstacker for set one. Good dig by McCaffrey in the back row. Reckaway in the middle. Too long. Emix thought it was uh, tipped by Dow, but officials think otherwise. So a nice little uh, run here by the Chargers late in the first game. Now the six-foot sophomore Haley Tannis. Fingers taped. Double block, Albright digs out the own miss. Free ball, too long. And that's all she wrote in the first set. The thing about volleyball though, Chris, is all right, it's just one set, right? So you can kind of, you hit the reset button if you're Dow right now. Um, they had a, ended the first set well, and uh, you kind of hit the reset button. If they can pull off set two, we're, we're going to be deadlocked again. So it's a, it's hard to come very far back when you're in the middle of a set, but it's since there's no clock, it's just never over. You never know. Two years ago, right in this gym, um, Reckaway was a sophomore. Nettie Atten led the Chargers. She's now a Northwood Timberwolf. But Dow was down two, two sets to none, and it looked like 
it looked like uh, the Chemics were going to prevail and then Dow charged back for the victory. Lots of time left in this best of five game, best of five match, but still a very impressive start for the Midland Chemics. 25-14, they take set one. We're back after this on MCTV Sports. Stay tuned to MCTV this fall and into the winter for more high school games and events on the MCTV Sports Network. MCT volunteers and staff will be televising Midland versus Dow hockey and Midland versus Dow basketball. Be sure to check out MCTV on Facebook to follow us and get up to date information on all programming and events at MCTV. We've got Dow Midland volleyball tonight before a packed gymnasium at Midland High School. Midland, the better team on paper, and they showed it in the first set, winning 25-14 over Dow in this best of five match. My broadcast partner tonight is Dave Marsh. My name is Chris Vosters, and we both have a little bit of experience with Dow Midland football, too, just on Friday night. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I mean, it was uh, Midland kind of end up uh, dominating the game, as it were, but just a ton of action. It was really a fun game to call, and. And what a night for the city of Midland. That place was packed on a beautiful night. Oh, my gosh. You could probably estimate the crowd a little bit better than me, but I know that 10,000 people can sit inside Midland Community Stadium, and it looked like they had that in the bag. Um, I haven't heard the final numbers on that, but it had to be around that. The team switched sides for the second set. Midland on the left, Dow on the right. Opening volley of set number two. McMath to Reckaway. McCaffrey keeps it alive. Okoro can't dig it out. Again, uh, Midland going cross court from that left side. Midland raced out to a 10-3 lead in the first set and never really looked back. More trouble with the serve received for Dow. And it's a quick 2-0 lead for Midland. Yeah, not really the start Dow was hoping for. Um, the end of that first set strong, kind of hoping to maybe get out of the gates a little quicker. Third stacker in the middle, too long. And you'd think even though it's very early in the second set, Dave, if Dow could just tie Midland, that would be a bit of a boost. <laughs> True. Right off the tape from Ainsley Lacey. Albright ran the slide for Midland, but Dow's all over it. Tie up at the net. Query into the rafters, and then signals crossed on the way down. Yeah, a little miscommunication there. And uh, point for the Chemics. Again, Dow's defense in particular under scrutiny tonight without their two of their top three diggers due to injury. Anna Blasey and Sophie Penex out of the lineup for Dow, and it's just been a revolving door of injuries for Jeff Dietrich and the Dow Chargers this year. A bit of a boost getting Isabel Velasquez back a couple of matches ago, but this is still a very depleted team and already a young one at that. No one's home and a double touch leads to a Midland point, five to one, cruising in the second set. Yeah, Albright uh, really getting it done here at the service line for Midland. 25 aces on the season coming in. Add another one to her total for the season right there. Found an empty spot and it's, uh, Dow just wasn't ready for it. Talking to Midland head coach Tim Zerrell about Maya Albright, her serve style is a little bit different than the hard servers that you see in Grace Reckaway and Peyton Gerstacker. Albright has a softer touch and in some cases it's Almost more frustrating for yeah. an opposing team's defense. 
McCaffrey is stuffed. Beth Wilson got her paws in on that one. That's a 6-3 frame. You, uh, if you're not big at the front to match her, that's a, a tough wall to get over or around. Wilson going to Lake Superior State next year on a volleyball scholarship. Maya Albright still serving for Midland. Too long for tennis. And now Jeff Dietrich right on cue needs a timeout. A 10-3 run for Midland to start the first set. How about an 8-1 run to start the second? Yeah, and um, Midland has much more pep in their step right there. Now he needed that timeout to try to get him, uh, get a little fire going here for Dow. Um, just not really moving quickly to the ball right now. Now the Midland student section gets involved, cajoling the Dow student section. And again, a, an important tune-up for both of these teams with the Saginaw Valley League Conference Tournament coming up on Saturday. Midland, by its own standards, disappointed not to finish as the Saginaw Valley League regular season champion. They lost to Davison in conference play earlier this year. And so it's Davison that's going to roll into the conference tournament over the weekend as the one seed in the tournament, but talking to people that know Valley Volleyball this year, it's expected to be Midland and Davison battling for the tournament championship over the weekend. Well, that was a five-set loss for the Chemex at Davison, too. A lot of times when you go five with somebody, it's, it's a toss-up. And uh, so that'll, uh, if that matchup comes to fruition again over the weekend for the title, uh, that's going to be a uh, barn burner. Boris Query gets the serve back for Dow momentarily, but that was an excellent set for Reckaway and uh, just had a, a big open window there to pound it down. That rally is short lived. Haley Worth, the defensive specialist, onto the floor for serve. McGee just couldn't work around the Midland block. Yeah, the set was a little off the net and uh, wasn't they really able to elevate much and uh, didn't have a lot of options with that one. You look at the gaudy win total this season for Midland, 39 and nine on the season. They've racked up tournament wins at the Jenison tournament, the Cadillac tournament, the Waterford tournament. They were in the semifinals of the North Branch Tournament, a very competitive 12-team field over the weekend. Lost in the semis to East Grand Rapids. And the mantra of this team, in the words of Tim Zerrell, the head coach, is no more losses after last Saturday. This is a team that wants to finish the regular season strong tonight against Dow, win the Saginaw Valley League Tournament, and then start a deep postseason run like last year. There's a McCaffrey with the kill off the block yeah i think uh yeah whether he flat out say it or not i think he feels he's got a special group here and uh excellent setter really excellent across the board and uh they got a taste going deep into the playoffs last year in the state tournament and i think this team uh Wants a little more of that, maybe go even farther. McCaffrey just missed her second service ace of the match. Instead, it goes back to the dangerous Grace Reckaway and Midland. And a rare miscue. She fires into the net. Boy, she serves hard, doesn't she? Another team philosophical point for Midland. No service errors after 20 points. So haven't gotten to 20 points yet in this second set. That's the... Uh, Mantra of Coach Zero? Yes. That one sails long by Gerstecker. I, got, I, I like that philosophy because, you know, when I was talking about where it's hard to come back, when a team gets to 20, if there's any kind of a lead at all, you have to play near perfect. And so if you waste one by uh, with a service error, that's like a free point for the other team. It's their only chance to get back sometimes. Dig by Gerstacker up to McMath, back to Gerstacker, and it was wide. No, it was a point for Midland. It just I think, traced uh, the line. I think uh, McGee, number three, was uh, in the net on that when she went up for the block. Beth Wilson to serve now for Midland. Up by nine in the second set.
Here's Shanasa Okoro. And a big kill for the 5'6 junior middle blocker. Only 5'6, but she plays on the front line because of her 30-inch vertical. You can see it right there. Um, great elevation. Found a hole in the block for her 138th kill on the season. Push to the back row. Gerstacker winds up, double block, but it goes out of play. Last touch by Dow. Substitution now as Catherine Perry checks back in for Midland. And Alex McMath, the Midland setter behind the line. Her mom is an assistant coach under Tim Zerrell and a science teacher right here at Midland High. One of my neighbors. Oh, no kidding. McMath, over 1,000 assists on the season, Chris. Uh, 1,085 coming into this one. Now, you follow volleyball, not only just the Midland Dow scene, but of course, as the athletic director at Northwood, is that a lot? I'm going to go and say 1,000 of anything is a lot. OK. Um, that just means that, uh, obviously, she's going to get a lot of attempts. And when you have a front line, you got Reckway, Wilson, Gerstacker, all of whom can Put seal the deal, that's where you get your assist when you get a kill. So that's uh, going to help uh, mount those. But a lot of times, you, you're able to get the kills because the setter is doing a great job. Velasquez was in the net for Dow, so McMath keeps serving. She's a senior. She wants to play college volleyball next year, but just hasn't quite found the right offer and or opportunity yet, but still looking. Dig by Lacey. Velasquez shoots it into the net. See, she was attacking well off the net there as opposed to uh, getting the set up on the net where uh, um, she can elevate a little bit better, unless they're just trying to stay off, stay away from the block a little bit more. Another timeout called by Jeff Dietrich and Dow. You get a look at the Dow suit and section now. Not a lot to cheer about for the Chargers. Down 19 to six, already down one to nothing in this best of five match. But you'll see some fat heads. Yeah. In the stands. I mean, how often do you see fat heads at a high school volleyball match? It shows the spirit that you got behind this game. And really from a lot of different players on the team. So uh, yeah, great, uh, great spirit here in the gym tonight. I'll give uh, the Dow High students a lot of credit because it's, uh, you know, right now we're well behind in the match, but uh, they haven't sat down. That's true. They're, uh, they're raring to go. Shouting right in the ear of Alex McMath as she puts it in play for Midland out of the timeout. Big point for Dow out of the timeout, a kill for Quinn McCaffrey, the senior. And Jenna Summers comes into the game to serve for Dow. Query, the setter, is in the front row for Dow right now, along with McCaffrey and Okoro. An athletic front line at the moment for Dow. They put it right back in Gerstacker's face. Now over to Perry. Okoro in the middle, but it's wide. Trying to see if they can get Okoro going here. And Samantha Ulrich, 5'4", junior, into the game for the first time tonight. Twenty points now in this second set for Midland. They don't want any more service errors the rest of the way. Back to Reckaway. She's stuffed. It was, uh, they called four um, contacts on that. Reckaway hit it into the net, and when it came back, when Midland uh, tried to dig that, that became the fourth hit. Crafty move by Reckaway that time. It's a great job reading the defense. Yeah, when you have somebody that can, uh, as explosive as she is, you know, you're worried about that, so it opens a few things up for the, uh, when you just kind of dink it over. Boppy Kripe on the service line for the Chemex now. Now, what's her real name, Dave? Her real name is Haley. How do you get Boppy out of Haley? 
Well, we'll see how this point goes here. McCaffrey got it over the tape for Dowell. Well, legend would have it, Chris, <laughs> that um, when she was, about time she was born, it was when Haley's, the Hale Bop Comet was going by. Okay. So Haley, they shortened it to Hale, Hale Bop becomes Boppy. Okay. And it sticks. I think there's a lot of people don't know her real name is Haley. Well, the roster lists her at Haley, but you talk to even the head coach, he can't even explain fully why she got the name Boppy. So as you said, legend, you don't really know the true origin. Well, Andy Kripe is the, uh, was a longtime athletic trainer at Northwood, and now the dean of students uh, at Northwood. And, um, and so he would be a reliable source, but I've known him from a long t for a long time, and I've never heard her called anything but Boppy. So. Riley Kramer also in the game for the first time for Midland. She just kept that dig alive. Another extended volley between these two teams late in the second set. Tannis tries to poke it over. It stays with Dow. Query that time. Wilson in the middle. Soft touch. McCaffrey sets up. Back row. Midland's got it. This time it goes for Wilson in the middle. That has been, uh, had some success in those long rallies is uh, um, hold and serve there. But that time, uh, Wilson left no doubt, making it 23-9. So it stays with Kramer and the Chemics. Tough pass, Reckaway just got it over. That time it's the sophomore Alyssa Kepner, five feet, 10 inches tall. She gets the side back to Dow. Kepner uh, brought up from JV, just kind of fills some roster space with all these injuries, but uh, doing a great job right there. They needed her and clearly warranting some varsity playing time late in her sophomore season. On the free ball, Query with a sneak two-touch attack. The set to Velasquez. Too wide as she tried to go corner to corner. Gerstacker in for Midland to try and close the deal and Grace Reckaway to serve. This is set number two points on Midland High's senior night. Regular season finale. Velasquez gets it over. And the deception by McMath wraps up set two for Midland. 25-14, Midland in set one, and Dave, I think, set two even more impressive, 25-10. Yeah, Midland just uh, is rolling right now. Uh, Dow just seems uh, half a step behind trying to keep up. And so, like we said two years ago, Midland was up. 2-0, you just never know in volleyball, but uh, they gotta, Dow's gonna have to make some quick changes here to, to stem the tide. It's a game of streaks, but Midland right now has a stranglehold on this five set match. We'll take a timeout, return for perhaps the decisive set number three from Midland High School. You're watching Midland versus Dow Girls Volleyball on MCTV Sports.
The coverage of this Midland High volleyball game is being produced on MCTV by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on shows like this one, sign up for an orientation class where you can learn how to get started with community television. Orientation workshops are on Saturday, November 11th, starting at 10 a.m. The cost is just $45, and that includes the annual access user fee. Call 837-3474 to sign up. You can learn more about MCTV at W www.cityofmidlandmi.gov slash mctv or follow us on Facebook. From inside the Midland High Gymnasium, my name is Chris Fosters, joined by Dave Marsh. Midland versus Dow Volleyball tonight and a decisive lead for Midland so far, up two sets to none. And Dow really hasn't been in the equation in either set. We'll see if Dow, at this point, playing for pride, can make this at least a more closely competitive third set. Yeah, Coach Zero going back with his starting lineup to start the third set here. Kind of want to just uh, make sure Dow doesn't uh, gain control of the match and uh, see if he can get out to a quick lead. Midland in the blue, Dow in the gold, and that answer is provided quickly. It's another fast start for Midland. They've scored first in all three sets now. Albright with the kill for the Chemics. She'll go to the service line. Albright, the only Chemic to play in every single game for Midland this season. Really? Over 120 games played coming into this match. It was one more than either Grace Reckaway or Peyton Gerstacker. Reckaway was injured at a tournament earlier this season and missed one game, but Albright's been there every step of the way. That attack. May have been heading long for Gerstecker, but uh, Dow didn't want to take that chance, unable to control it. Another kill for Gerstecker. More Maya Albright. Couldn't get the friendly roll. Then you would have known <laughs> Midland can do no wrong if they had gotten that. <laughs> that is true. Ball. <laughs> that is true. Probably could have packed it up. Yes. <laughs> Dow's libero, Ainsley Lacey, 5'5", junior. Line drive serve, and Midland was unprepared. The ace for Lacey. One of seven juniors on the roster for Dow. Dow has not led in this match. Looking for their first lead of the match. There they go. They got it. On a long kill by Beth Wilson. That's a quick start the Chargers are hoping for. The student section still into it. Lacey in rhythm. Into the net. Yeah, I hate those. They got on a little roll and uh, kind of give uh, Chemex a free point there. Perry to serve for Midland. Query sets up Tannis. Right through the block, it's a kill for Beth Wilson. <laughs> Student section couldn't quite make out what they were chanting. Scoreboard. Over. Scoreboard, okay, yeah. yeah. It was it's PG, four, four of course. Three. Yeah. But two to nothing in the yeah, third I think set. That's what, I think that's the part of the scoreboard they're referring to. Breakaway with so much power on the attack. Credit Dow for keeping that one alive. On the slide, Wilson into Dow's bench. Good hustle on Dow defensive side to uh, keep it alive. McCaffrey did a great job there, and uh, Dow earns the point. Karis Query to serve. The setter, she also happens to be the fourth leading blocker on Dow's side. But the serve doesn't last long. And that's really been the story of the night, I think, Dave. And you credit Midland for this. They have just not allowed Dow to get comfortable behind the service line and go yeah. on a run, really, of any substance. No, you're right, Chris. That's a great point. A look at Jeff Dietrich there. It's going to be four hits. Too many touches. Watching Karis Query, a junior for Dow. Long line of outstanding uh, 
girl athletes have gone of query girl athletes have gone through uh, Dow High. Volleyball specifically? Volleyball, basketball, for sure. Um, seems like there's been a query on the Dow roster for a long time. And a, a, really a terrific family and uh, can be very proud of, that, of all their girls. More Grace Reckaway. Query with a two touch. Looked like McMath was thinking about reciprocating, but Gerstacker. Yikes. Wish you could clock that one. Yeah, down the line. Set across court and uh, good explosion by Gerstacker. Again, she's down the road to Saginaw Valley next year on a volleyball scholarship. She'll be playing perhaps against Grace Reckaway, who's on her way to Northwood. Not perhaps. <laughs> Definitely will be. Nothing ambiguous about that. <laughs> well, Wilson will be playing against her too. Yes. Missed touch that time by Gerstacker. And Dave, based on your knowledge of the GLIAC, Looking at sports like football, basketball, the GLIAC, one of the premier Division II conferences in the United States. How does volleyball stack up? Um, it stacks up pretty high, too. There's uh, generally have ranked teams, and uh, it's a high level. It's folks uh, from the area that want to see some great volleyball need to come out and check it out. Um, it's high level volleyball. Another kill for Peyton Gerstacker. And they've got her at uh, now 12 kills in the match. Yeah, she's having an uh, outstanding match. And that's what I was saying. When you look at the GLIAC, there's three GLIAC players on Midland. That means all the rosters are filled with players like that. And uh, we're seeing a special performance out here uh, by the Chemics tonight. That being said, Dow is playing as competitive in this yes. set as they have all night, only 10 to 6. We've seen Midland start set one on a 10-3 run. They started set two on an 8-1 run. And Dow has the serve right here with Haley Tannis. Albright finds a soft spot. Yeah, see, volleyball, I always felt, is a, a momentum game. You get on, get on little streaks, and it's one of those things, if Dow is able to put a streak together, that uh, um, turn the tide, make Midland doubt a little bit, they can get back in this match. Gerstacker, invincible. But when uh, the Chemics are making plays like that, it's gonna be real hard to get back in. You alluded to this, Dave, earlier on the broadcast, but Midland dominated Dow last season in this matchup and Midland actually, when you look at the numbers, had a 60% attack percentage in that match wow. against Dow, which is yeah, extraordinarily that's, high. That's extraordinarily high. And you look at this match, and if they're not at 60%, I don't think they're that much lower than that. Um, I think you're right. I mean, we're, we don't, aren't keeping the stats here. As a, on the season, Midland is around 30, just under 30. But, and that's uh, a good number, too. Which is a pretty good number. But yeah, tonight, their efficiency is, uh, is way up there. You just look at the scores per set, 25-14. Midland in set one, 25-10 in set two. And doubling up down here in set three in the midst of a timeout. Midland tries to sweep Dow in the Saginaw Valley League regular season finale. Quick turnaround on Saturday. Both these teams could face each other again in the conference tournament. Doesn't what matter dig. where she is, but still a kill for Gerstacker. Yeah, great effort by McCaffrey, but uh, Gerstacker is just having a dominant performance. We saw Martin Money with a... Uh, um, epic performance in the football game on Friday. Uh, Gerstacker is, uh, is looking like that here tonight. Actually, Martin Money and some of his teammates on the MHS football team are in the stands tonight. Yeah, it's, uh, that's a really the cool thing. You see athletes supporting each other and uh, just that kind of uh, 
school spirit is what high school athletics is all about. Great dig by Lacey, but no one's there to clean it up at the net. Starting to get away from Dow here. They had it 4-4 to start this, and uh, Midland's put on a couple of runs. And uh, up by nine here, midway through the third set. Three straight points out of the timeout. McMath tries to add to it, but that's a service error. McMath, we mentioned her mom is the assistant coach on the team. She actually used to be the head coach yeah. at Midland High before Tim Zerrell took over 15 seasons ago. She stepped away from the program voluntarily, in part to spend more time with right. Alex and her siblings, but now is back in an assistance role. Got to be very proud of her daughter. Tremendous player for the Chemics. At the net, Albright just pokes it down. That's where the, just the superior height at the net is uh, Millen just controlling things. Now Gerstacker serves. Midland trying to pull away in set number three as they've done in sets one and two. Query picks out Velasquez. Midland's defense rallies. Back row hit from McCaffrey. It was a good one. Midland scrambles, oh. and it's a point for Dow. Boy, a great effort by McMath to dig that, but then. Uh, I think everybody almost was uh, in awe of her play and uh, just kind of forgot to go get the ball. Got lost in the lights. Jenna Summers for Dow. Too wide. Away. Oh, that was going to go out, I think. Dow closed the block well the first time, and Ainsley just couldn't keep that one alive. Well, didn't work the first time, go the second time, and wreck away leaves no doubt. Well, I don't think even Coach Zero anticipated the kind of dominant performance Peyton Gerstacker would have tonight, but he told us before the match that his offense, when it's in rhythm, is working the ball to wreck away four out of every five times. And they're getting great serves from Maya Albright as well. It's almost like tonight they don't really have to depend on her quite as much. Um, other players are really stepping up, and uh, McMath is uh, really playing great at setter. She's just setting up her uh, the attackers and uh, just letting them letting them fly, let it, so they can just let it fly. Sure, really distributing the ball well, not leaving it too close to the net. Yeah, it just. Uh, McMath playing a great night. This is a case of seniors really stepping up against their arch rival here tonight. More from Maya Albright. Midland up 10. And again, as Tim Zerrell said, the goal of this team after getting the North Branch tournament out of the way a couple of days ago is to hang no more zeros in the loss column. starting with tonight's match against Dow, and they've looked very sharp. Conference tournament on Saturday, district start next week. Boy, nice dig by Albright there, and then uh, just works its way to the middle. Wilson uh, puts it away from the for the kill, 21-9. Well, Jeff Dietrich will be looking for building blocks going into the Saginaw Valley League tournament for Dow, but important to remember that in just his second year, he's in the midst of rebuild right now. A sneak attack by Query, the setter, gets side out to Dow. Yeah, that was a nice heads up play by Query. Good vision. Found the opening, knew what Midland wasn't ready for it. It was the libero that got it over for Dow. Here's Reckaway. Dow closed the block. That'll land. Yep, they uh, 
She went hard. They they blocked her. They tried to go up with her again, and she just uh, found an opening. Good heads up play by Reckaway. Midland not, closing not, in. Yeah, it's not all about just uh, the sheer power on the kill sometimes. It's also court awareness and uh, picking your spots and mixing things up. That's a great and, point. And uh, Grace, one of the best at that. Midland expected this to be emotional match, but they have kept their cool and are now three points away from sweeping Dow to close out the 2017 regular season. Looked like they signaled four touches, but Midland is keeping the serve. Yeah, it was, uh, they did signal Midland's point. After the infraction, Worth keeps serving, and that's an ace. And we've reached match point. Zero wants to get the crowd fired up here on match point. Midland student section knows what's coming. <laughs> McMath wants Reckaway. This would be a fitting Whoa. way to end. Yowza. And that's how it does, in fact, conclude. Leave, leave no doubt. Back-to-back 25-10 -back sets for Midland as they close the door on Dow. They won the first set 25-14. to And this is a Midland team that looks poised to not only contend for a Saginaw Valley League tournament title, but perhaps get at least to the state quarters again like they did last year. Cogero's got to be happy with the performance tonight. It was uh, put the pedal to the metal and don't slow down. Even the, you know, when you have that 2-0 lead, there's a tendency sometimes just to, to relax, take your foot off the gas, but Midland sure uh, would have none of that. And so I think he wants to, I think he's got to feel pleased about this heading into the SVL tournament. All of the weapons that we talked about for Midland coming into this game seem to show up tonight. Peyton Gerstacker, Grace Reckaway, Maya Albright, Beth Wilson. Could you pick a player of the match? That's a tough one. I don't know. I, I was very impressed with <coughs> very impressed with McMath uh, in her setting. You know, sometimes you see the big power numbers and uh, and uh, it's easy to overlook that. Um, Gerstacker obviously was phenomenal. Reckaway, great match. I don't, I don't know. This is just, this is a great team, team victory for Midland tonight, I think, Chris. They win in three sets handily, 25-14, 25-10, 25-10 over arch rival Dow and let the postseason begin. The Saginaw Valley League Tournament starts on Saturday. Dave and I will be back to wrap this one up from Midland High School after this on MCTV Sports. Back inside Midland High, an emphatic win for the Midland girls volleyball team tonight as they sweep arch rival Dow in three sets. He's Dave, I'm Chris, and we expected this to be a game dominated by Midland, and that's really what we got tonight. It really was just a um, just a great performance by Midland. You know, Dow obviously coming in prepared, hoping to maybe pull off the upset, but the the stars shine bright for Midland tonight. The, it was senior night, and the seniors played like seniors, like they wanted to uh, take care of their arch rival game, and uh, great performance. 40 wins on the season for the Chemex, and Coach Zero, 40 and nine, as they head into the Saginaw Valley League tournament. 649 career wins now for Coach Zero, and you said that's right around a gazillion, right? <laughs> yeah, give or take. <laughs> yeah. right. mm -hmm. In volleyball terms, congratulations <laughs> to Coach Zero as his uh, fantastic coaching career continues. You mentioned that of all the players that had standout performances tonight for Midland, Alex McMath, the setter, really stood out to you. Why was that? I just thought, you know, uh, 
Probably, what, like you mentioned, when you go back and look at the attack per percentage for Midland, it's going to be very high. And uh, in order for that to happen, obviously your front row has to play well. But the ball needs to be set up on a tee for him, and it was all night. So again, 25-14, 25-10, 25-10 as Midland takes care of its crosstown rival Dow in the finale of the 2017 regular season. Dave, any closing thoughts? This has been a lot of fun. A lot of fun, Chris. Enjoy working with you as always. And uh, it's just a great atmosphere here at Midland Gym, no matter what. Midland versus Dow, always fun. And, uh, you know, it goes back and forth from year to year. The Chemex year on the volleyball court this year. And a great turnout by both student sections as well. A reminder, you can watch this game on Thursday, October 26th at 5.30, Friday the 27th at 5.30, Saturday at 10 in the morning or at 11.30 at night, and then Sunday, October 29th at 10 in the morning and at 8.30 p.m. More dates and times to follow MPS TV Channel 190. Check the Midland Public Schools website as well at www.midlandps.org for the schedule. You can also view this program online at the Midland Public Schools YouTube channel. One final time for my broadcast partner Dave Marsh and our outstanding crew at Midland High. My name is Chris Foster saying so long and have a nice night.